called uh, approximation algorithm for the knapsack problem okay so we have solved this knapsack problem in other modules so uh, the problem can be solved using exhaustive approach as well as using dynamic approach okay so let me recall the problem statement for the knapsack problem so here it says given the items of known weights w1 up to wn that means we have weights okay that means we can have many items that is what they are trying to say items with weights w1 to wn and they have values also associated that is v1 to vn okay the main thing is there is a weight capacity of w okay you have to find the most valuable uh, subset of the items that fits into the knapsack that means items will be there items will have weights and also it will have values so you have to make sure that you are going to include item okay which is having weights okay and also making sure that the values are high okay and uh, the thing is when you are adding the items you have also have to keep this in condition the capacity you can't just go on adding the items into the knapsack you have to add the items making sure that the I, the items added do not exceed the capacity of the knapsack okay so this problem can be solved using uh, exhaustive and dynamic so here we will see the concept of greedy greedy is also done in the previous module but let me quickly recall the concept of uh, using the greedy approach for solving the knapsack problem so what you are supposed to do is see the steps okay step 1 it says compute the value to weight ratio value to weight ratio okay you have to find out this value that is vi by wi for all the items you have to find the ratio for all the items that is first thing then in step 2 you have to sort the items in non increasing order of the ratios computed in step 1 that means whatever ratio you will calculate okay you have to arrange them in the decreasing order okay you have to arrange the items in the decreasing order of the ratios next thing is step number 3 is repeat the following operations until the knapsack is filled to its full capacity and no item is left in the uh, sorted list the thing is you have to check whether the current item fits into the knapsack if it is so you add it into the knapsack otherwise what you do is you skip that item and go to the next item check whether it uh, satisfies the condition okay like this you will go on checking for different items okay remember the steps first step is calculate the ratio of uh, v by w value by weight then whatever ratios you get arrange the items according to the decreasing order of their ratios next thing is starting from the biggest ratio try to add the items into the knapsack but keep in mind that it should not exceed the capacity of the knapsack if it exceeds then skip that item and move to the next item okay so that is the thing so we have a problem here let me take that problem and uh, i'll show you how this uh, can be implemented see here the example is let us consider the instance of the knapsack problem with the knapsack capacity of 10 and the item information as follows so we have four items see the table we have four items weight is also given and the values are also given so for weight 7 42 3 12 4 40 and 5 is 25 okay and very important thing is understanding the knapsack capacity the knapsack capacity should be 10 it should not exceed 10 okay so keep that in mind and then we will try to solve this remember okay to fall, uh, to solve this uh, knapsack problem using the greedy approach first thing is you have to calculate the ratio what ratio v by w so here as you can see one minute so here v by w ratio so here you have to calculate that v by w okay so 42 divided by 7 42 divided by 7 6 then 12 divided by 3 4 
40 divided by 10, uh, 4, 40 divided by 4, 10, 25 divided by 5 is 5. Okay, so this is a step one, you have to calculate the ratios. Then I told you that you have to arrange the uh, items according to their increasing order of their ratio. So this is the one with the highest ratio. So this item will come first. That is your item three. Next is the six. Okay, six. So this will come as a second one. So item one will come as a second one. Then you have the ratio as five. See here ratio five. So that will be your third uh, item. Okay, that will be the third ratio. So item is four. And uh, this is your fourth item. And uh, item is second. So you have to arrange them in this order only. So 10, okay, that means 3, 4, 40 will come first, followed by 1, 7, 42, followed by 4, 5, 25, then 2, 3, and 12. Okay. So that is step number two. See here. That is what we have done. Okay. So solution. Solution is computing the value to weight ratios and sorting them in the non-increasing order of their efficiency ratio yields. So we have arranged them. So 10 comes first, 6, 5 and 4. Okay. Now the third step is you have to keep an item and you have to check whether it satisfies the knapsack capacity then include otherwise exclude so how do you do this okay this is step number three i hope step number one and two is very clear now let's go to step number three step three okay step three what you do is remember the capacity capacity w is equal to 10 remember this okay now what you do is add and so this is having the highest ratio so item 1 should get added first so what you do is add the item 1 add the item 1 so its weight is its weight is 4 and uh, the value is 40 Okay, remember. Now check whether this can be added. See, capacity is 10. This weight is 4. So, this item can be added to the knapsack. This can be added to the knapsack. Like this. Okay. Now, let's go to the second item. Add item. Two. Okay. Just a second. Just a second. Okay. Okay. So next item. Item is equal to two. Okay. So weight is uh, seven. And uh, value is forty two. Now check whether this can be added into the knapsack. Already there is item uh, with the weight 4. Now if I add this, it becomes 4 plus 7, which is equal to 11. This will be the weight. Also the capacity is, not the capacity, the value is 40 plus 42. Okay. So this will give you 82. Capacity, uh, sorry, the value is high, maximum. But look at the weight. Weight is 11. The capacity is 10. So weight is 11 now. So you cannot add this item. So what you're supposed to do is skip this item. Skip this and say that it is not feasible. Okay. Likewise, we have to check for the other items also. So we'll go to the third item. Okay. We will go to the third item. Third item is add item 3. So, item 3, weight is uh, 5. Its uh, value is 25. Now, you see, 
previous item that is seven did not get added. So the uh, current weight of the knapsack is four. So can I add five? So first you add the weights and check. So four plus five, nine. Okay, satisfies the condition because the capacity is 10. Also, now we are getting the, uh, you know, what is that value as 40 for the previous item and the current item. So, I am getting it as 65. Sorry, not 65. Um, sorry, it is 65 itself. Okay. So, we can say that this can be added. This item can be added to the knapsack. No problem, it can be added to the map set. Now come to the next item that is add item 4, weight is 3 and uh, its value is 12. Okay, so 9 is the current uh, weight that is present in the map set. So can I add? So 9 plus 3, 9 plus 3 gives me 12 and the weight is 65 plus, 65 plus uh, whatever this 12 is. So, it is going to give me 77. Again, if you see 12, capacity is 10. So, I will have to skip this item. Skip this and say that it is not feasible. So what we are trying to say is here, I can't add the item 2 for sure. I can't add the item 2 for sure. And also I can't add the item 3. Making sure that I have added item 1. If I have added item 1, okay, at the current first place we have added uh, item 1. That is why we can't add item 2. Okay, we can add the item 3, but we can't add the item 4. This is the greedy approach to solve the knapsack problem. What you are supposed to do? Let me recall the steps. The steps are first, you have to find the ratio. Ratio of V by W, that is your value by weight. Once you have found that, arrange the items in the decreasing order of their ratios. Once you have done that, first you initially add the first item into the knapsack. Okay, but the thing is, if the first item itself is having the weight which is exceeding the capacity of knapsack, then you don't have to. But usually it doesn't, uh, you know, they won't give problems like that. So, the thing is, you add the first item. Okay, just check for the, uh, you know, the weight of that item and the capacity of the knapsack. If it is so, then you add, then you take the next item. Okay, add the weight of this uh, second item to the previous weight of the knapsack. Check if it is exceeding the capacity. If it is so, you can skip that item. Otherwise, you can add that item into the knapsack. Like this, you go on checking for the uh, other elements in the uh, given list. Okay, so we can say that this knapsack gives the best solution when we have the item with the weight 4 and weight 5 and has the highest, capacity, uh, highest value of uh, 65. Okay, I hope you have understood. This is the problem of knapsack using greedy approach. Now we will come to the next topic that is finding the uh, knapsack that is solving the knapsack problem using approximation algorithm. Okay, so this particular scheme was introduced by a person called as Sahani. So he has come up with this idea. So let me read the methodology here. It says that in this method, an approximation scheme K, an approximation scheme K is defined, which means, okay, subsets of less than equal to K items can be considered and the remaining items satisfying the capacity constraints are added to the list accordingly. From each list, we have to select an optimal solution. Okay, so this uh, when I read it, it might sound like, you know, what is uh, ma'am speaking. So let me show you with the help of an example. Okay, so see the example for a given instance of knapsack problem, obtain the optimal solution for approximation scheme. K is equal to 2 with the knapsack capacity of W equal to 10. So what it says is at the most. Okay, 
at the most the capacity is 10 and k equal to 2 k equal to 2 means when you do the subset when you do the subset at the most you can have two elements you can have two elements see here let me talk about the solution see item weight value and the ratio so i hope you remember we have to do the first step and uh, second step as it is that is find the ratio and then arranging it in the uh, descending order now this is the solution okay this is the solution see how the solution works see three uh, values are there one is your subset added items and value okay just to um, keep it clean let me erase this okay so subset added item and value so let me start subset means the elements currently in the set okay so initially let me keep it as null okay so that means in the set there are no elements at all so you have to check from this list which item can be added making sure that the capacity is also not exceeded so when i see that i can say that one that is your four and three that is your item with weight five and the other one is uh, the one with weight one so it is four plus five plus one four plus five is nine nine plus one is ten so this can be added so i can't uh, add the second item because then it will exceed the capacity. So I can add item 1, item 3 and item 4. So what that is what it says. Add the item 1, 3 and 4. You add its value. So it is 40 plus uh, 25 that is 65. 65 plus 4 is 69. So this is the solution. When there are no elements in the subset. Let me erase all the other things. Okay, so I hope you have understood. First point is when the set is null. Next is let's assume 1 is present in the subset. That means your item 1 has gone. So 1 is already present. So you have to check what other items can be added. See that is having the weight 4. So what else can be added? 5 and 1. Making sure that it doesn't exceed the capacity. So 1 is already present. So right now I can add 3 and 4. So 1 is already present. So I can add 3 and 4. So previous item is having 40. So again it is going to give me uh, 40 plus 25 plus 4 that is 69. So I hope you have understood. Let me come to the second. That is item 1. Item 1 is already done. Now let's check item 2. What if there is item 2 in the set? So that is having 7. So 7 means I can't add the item uh, 4. Okay. Item, item as in weight 4. I can't add weight 5. But I can add weight 1. So it will give me 7 plus 1. Okay. So I can only do item 4. And that is why I am getting the capacity as uh, the value is 42 plus 4 that is 46. Similarly, check for item 3. Item 3 is already present. So what else I can add? I can add uh, item 1, weight 4 and item 4 with weight 1. So what, that is what it says. What if there is 4? Four? 4 means I can add only 1 and 3. So 69. What about 1 and 2? Now you have, uh, uh, you have done for null. You have done for individual elements. Now take 2 at a time. So 1 and 2, check if 1 and 2 can be added. So 1 and 2 if I add, then means the weight becomes 4 plus 7. Here it becomes, sorry, here it becomes 4 plus 7 as the weight. So it becomes 11, which exceeds the capacity. So we have written it as non-feasible. Similarly, check for 1 and 3, 1 and 3, 4 plus 5, 1 and 3. Okay, so 1 and 3 is present. Okay, in the set, what else I can add? 
1 and 3 is already present, so I can add 4, which gives me 69. If 1 and 4 is present, can I add 3? Yes. So it becomes 69 again. Okay. Like this, you will have to check. But 2 and 3, you see, 2 and 3 is one set. So 7 plus 5, it gives me 12, So which is not uh, according to the rule. So it says not feasible. What about 2 and 4? 2 and 4. 2 and 4 is 7 plus 1. So this is 8. The capacity is, uh, now the capacity of 8 is 8. Can it be added? Can anything else be added? Seven, 2 plus 4 is already present. 2 and 4. Can I add anything? No. So this remains nothing. Capacity is 46. Like this, we do for the next item also. So you have to do the trial and error method here. Okay, and why did we stop over here? Why there is no combination of 1, 2 and 3? Because it says k is equal to 2. So you can only have subset with two elements. Okay, so we have stopped here. Now the optimal solution if you want to find, okay. So uh, the value should be high. And also it should not exceed the capacity. So uh, values are high means 69 is the highest value. Now you have to check the different possibility of items. So this is one valid solution, this is one valid solution, this is also a solution, this one, this, this and this. But uh, how do you check the optimal solution? The one with the highest number of items. That is the concept of knapsack. That is you have maximum number of items and also maximum value and it should be within the capacity of the knapsack. This is a concept of approximation algorithm. First two remains same that is first Calculate the ratio, arrange it in the decreasing order of the ratio and then draw this subset table. Okay, in the subset first you have individual element and not individual, first it is nothing. Okay, that means it is not. Then you try to add other elements and check whether it is satisfying the NAPSA. Okay, if it is so, write down the value. Then check for individual element. So one is already present, for example here. One is already present. What else I can add from this item? You have to check. So three and four. Like this, we have to check for one, two, three and four. Then do the combination. One and two, one and three, one and four, two and three, two and four, three and four. Because it says k equal to two, you stop after this step and check which is having the highest value with the maximum number of items. Satisfying the condition. That becomes your optimal solution. So here you can say that your optimal solution is optimal solution is okay when you can have 1, 3 and 4 with the maximum weight or value as 69. This is your solution. I hope you have understood. I have also given you the notes so you can go through it and if there is any doubts you can let me know. Thank you so much.